Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to our program. We are discussing about the similarities between Imam Hussein's uprising and Imam Al Mahdi's. Our guest is Sheikh Davoudi. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In our last session, we talked about uh, Imam Hussein and a, and a brief background on him. We said that why he began his journey from Medina to Mecca and Mecca to Kufa and Karbala, we said that it was to fight against injustice and evil that was uh, opening its way in the community. And we saw that, um, or we will see that inshallah, that uh, when Imam al-Mahdi uh, reappears and returns back to us in this world, uh, he, again, he, as well as uh, Imam Hussein, will fight against the injustice and the impurities and evil that has spread in our community. Uh, Dr. Davoudi, uh, let's continue on uh, our previous session. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala khayr khalqihi Muhammad wa ala alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin al-ma'asumin salawatullah alayhi majma'in. As far as I remember, we wanted to discuss what is the relationship and the connection between the uprising of Imam al Hussein salam and the uprising of Imam al Mahdi at Jalallah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. How they are connected to each other, what similarities can we find between them. So, because of that, we had to explain a little bit about the uprising of Imam al Hussein. Because Imam al Mahdi has not come yet, and the people knew a few, a little about uh, Imam al Mahdi, Ajjalallah Ta'ala Farajah Sharif. But uh, our information about Imam al Hussein is a little bit more than uh, you know, the information that we have about Imam al Mahdi. So, we explained the main target of Imam al Hussein salam, because when we say they are similar to each other or no, there is a relationship and connection between this uprising and that one, okay? Imam al Mahdi's uprising. Of course, yeah. We say that somehow they have to be similar to each other. The main important topic that we have to come with and explain about is the target and the goal of Imam al Hussein. <coughs> in Ziyara Arba'in, uh, Imam Sajjad, the fourth Imam, you know, explains he is going to witness many different things up to this part that he explains. Muhjatahu Fika Lias Tanagada Ribada Kaminal Jahala Wahiratil Dalala. What does it mean exactly? Imam Sajjad, Imam Zainal Abidin explains that I testify that Imam Hussein was such a person who really, you know, um, we say sacrificed, dedicated his soul. What for? Lekha. So Imam Sajjad is talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Badala muhjatahu fika. It means that he dedicated his soul for you. Yeah? For the sake of Allah. For your mission. Fika. For your mission. What was the mission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Holy Prophet as a messenger. What for? What to for? Guide exactly. To, guide, to guide, guide them, of course. So, when we say that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, badala muhujatahu fika, it means that he gave his soul, he, 
he dedicated his soul. Yeah, fika means for your own mission. Means exactly the same as the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He wanted to guide people. Fika. What for? You know, to continue with that, Imam Sajjad alayhi salam explains لِيَسْتَنْغِذَ عِبَادَكَ مِنَ الْجِهَالَةِ لِيَسْتَنْغِذَ عِبَادَكَ It means to, you know, to liberate, make them free, to liberate people from the ignorance, from the yoke of ignorance, you know. The people really didn't know what is Islam. Mm -hmm. They really were, were misguided. I told you in the previous session, you know. So Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, you know, started his uprising because of these. We say that in Ziyar Arba'in again, these are the words of Imam, Imam Zayn al Abidin alayhi salam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الذي بذل مهجته فيك ليستنقذ عبادك من الجهالة. They are your servant, but you know they are completely in ignorance. Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam dedicated and sacrificed his soul for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for his mission to you know uh, to liberate people from the yoke of ignorance. And Wahirat al okay, and evil of bewilderment. Because unfortunately, they were, you know, astrayed, misguided, you know, they were ignorant. So Imam al Hussein alayhi salam uh, started his uprising because of that. And very that well put by uh, Imam uh, <coughs> Sajjad, um, Zainul Abidin. Uh, Muawiyah, he did an extremely fine job of uh, destroying uh, Islam and he did a very good job on uh, bringing evil and injustice um, and it's very well yes. put by Imam Sajjad. The, you know, they, from the very beginning, uh, after the day of Ashura, you know, although he was, you know, sick in bed, he was really patient, but he started uh, uh, elab elaborating, you know, the situation for the people and show that what was the target, the main target for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Not only Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, but the, the Hazrat Zainab salamullah alayha did, you know, the same. So these are the targets of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. So little by little, we want to you know, tell our viewers that what, what is the similarity between the uprising of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and the uprising for uh, Imam Mahdi. May Allah hasten in his reappearance. Uh, these, are, these are not my, my own words. I explained from the Diyar Arba'in, from the words of Imam Sajjad alayhi salam. Okay, and also from the words that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam himself, you know, announced it. We said that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam wanted to make a big reform. Urid al Islah, Islah means reform. I want, I want to make a big reform among the nation of my grandfather Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And also somewhere else, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam explained that Urid an amur bil ma'ruf wa anha'an al munkar. I want to enjoin people to goods and forbid them from evil actions. And uh, it was another target. So these are the targets of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, not from my own point of view, but from the uh, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam himself's point of view and from the Imam Sajjad alayhi salam's point of view on Ziyarah Arba'in. So I, I think. That would be enough. We explained a little bit about uh, the the target, the goals of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam when he started his uprising. Okay, started his trip from Medina to come to Kufa because some people say that he knew that he is going to be killed. Why he started? I I want to explain something more. You know. 
before the day of uh, Ashura, which is the 10th day of uh, Muharram. And in that day, Imam al Hussein salam was martyred. Before that, Imam al Hussein salam sent somebody, or in some of the, the history narrations, they say that he himself went to Omar Sa'ad and invited him because it was the mission of Imam al Hussein salam. What? To, to bring you know, people to, to liberate them from from jahala, from you know ignorance. Mm -hmm. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam knew that he is an ignorant person. He really does not know what is good, what is bad. You know, he is, is he just doing for dunya to receive you know the money or something like this. Yes, he was given uh, the promise of a ray. The ray, of course. Yeah, it, it it is so famous that. Uh, because of that, he, he came in front of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. He knew that he, that, you know, he, he is true. But unfortunately, because of that, uh, he didn't want to, you, you know, close his eyes on the, uh, the, this world, worldly desires. So even at the time when Imam al Hussein alayhi salam sent someone, or no, he himself went to Omar Sa'ad, he again wanted to do his mission. His mission was to, bring to liberate them from ignorance, to, you know, make them free from the evil actions and so on. Okay, this is the, the main target that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam started his uprising for. But I uh, I think uh, another thing uh, that we want to explain the similarity between the uprising of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten in his reappearance, and the uprising of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam is something which is very famous. In some narrations, we have this word, Kulluhum Nurun Wahid. Kulluhum Nurun Wahid. They are from the same light. They are from the same light. Mm. All of the infallible Imams are from the same light. Yeah. What does it mean exactly? Does it mean that they have come from the same origin? It means they are from the progeny of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or no something else. We say no. Maybe they have the same target or something like this. So uh as far as I remember in Bihar al Anwar, okay, this, this rewaya, this tradition has been mentioned there that one of the infallible Imams alayhim salam explains that Kulluhum Nurun Wahid, Avvaluhum Muhammad, Akhiruhum Muhammad, Awsatuhum Muhammad. All of them are from the same light. The first one is Muhammad, the last one is Muhammad. And the middle one is again Muhammad. It means all of them have come for the same target, for the same goal. It, it doesn't mean that they are away. So they are actually searching for the same result and they want the same exact uh, idea to be placed inside the community and that's justice. This is the target, yes. Justice is very important. And, and because of that, we explain that all of them are from the same light. Mm. Why do we say that there is a connection between the uprising of Imam al-Mahdi and the uprising of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam? Okay, we say one of them was because of their own target. They have the same target. And also in some narrations, we, we find out that they are from the same light. Kulluhum nurun wahid. Okay, so if they are from the same light, we, we, sh we shouldn't, you know, look for so, so many similarities. That is enough for them. Just one is enough. I don't know if, if we have time to continue or, uh, or not. Anyhow, Kulluhum Nurun Wahid, it means that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and also the other Imams up to Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten in his reappearance, are from the same light. Okay? All of them are from the same light. 
and also it means that they are somehow connected to each other they are not away yes they are living in different times okay the time that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam is living was different from the time that Imam al Hussein Imam, Imam al Mahdi at Jalal Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif is living in but they they are similar to each other because they have come from the same light what is that light the light of guidance that is they have one similarity because in many du'as and traditions we find out that Allah nur samawati wal arf so what does Allah do Allah does hidayah okay he guides people. yeah yes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides people yahdi man yasha okay it means that the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does is is guiding people so nur or light that we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the light it means he is the guide so when we say they are from the same light it means there are they they come to guide people so they have the same goals they have the same idea and they have the same uh, result that they want to put inside the community okay thank you very much let's take a break for now until next session Dear viewers, welcome back. Our discussion is on the similarities between Imam Hussein's uprising and Imam al-Mahdi's. Uh, we've been talking about them both being from the same source and the same light. We said that their goal, their aim is to bring justice and purity to this society.